All right, so this is just the standard issue international belly pump. It's right there. And what it does is it drives off the front of the rear end. There's a there's an output up there. There's a shaft that runs runs along to the belly pump. And so the belly pump actually runs all the time. It drives off the counter shaft of the transmission. So it's always spinning. And then when you pull this lever back is when it actually makes pressure. Um, this lever pulls back a... Uh, there's a, a little flapper in there that basically covers a port. And it's... Because basically it's constantly bypassing. And then when you pull the lever back, it stops the bypass and makes it build pressure. And that makes the hydraulic system make, you know, things go up or down or however you've got it plumbed. This is one outlet here. Um, there's your fill port there. There's usually a dipstick in there. Sometimes they fall off and land in the bottom of the pump. And then over here, you have two more outlets these have got quick connects on them uh, i think this tractor may have had a loader on it at some point but that's pretty much how a belly pump works um, so you you pull it all the way back and that makes pressure it sits on a it sits right there which is on this little hook here, see where it sits here, and then to go down, you would push it all the way like that, and it that lets the that lets that go down, and then you pull it back up to that notch, and it'll hold at that spot. So that's pretty much that. Now this tractor does have also this pump. Now this pump drives this power steering unit up here. The flow on this pump is not high enough. This is a Balin power steering kit. This is not a high enough flow to actually produce like live hydraulics like to use on the tractor. Even though this is driven by the engine and it's live, it's just for power steering. Now this tractor you've seen in one of my other videos, but it has an IH dealer installed kit for two-way hydraulics. So you have the same belly pump here. See, you don't have any live anything. You still have the belly pump here, but the belly pump's pressure line, so right there, is routes up and around into the valve here, and then you have two outlets. So this is a two-way, so you have that way and that way. So you can control a hydraulic cylinder going two directions. So you can go up or down. Versus on the other tractor, with just the belly pump, you just have one direction, which is either up or down, whichever you need, whichever you have it plumbed for. The other way would be gravity, basically. So if it goes up under pressure, it's just going to fall back down by gravity. But to make this work, you pull this back just like you would on the other character. You pull it all the way back, and then this piece here is supposed to flip up, and so you would lock that notch there underneath that. Now, this thing is supposed to flip up from the bottom. They've got it on here upside down. But you would hold that in position so that it makes the pump make power, and then you would pull the two way valve, whichever, pull or push, whichever way you needed it to go. Alright, so on this tractor, you can see this pump is cast iron, and it's, it's much thicker than the international pump, and the lines come out the top instead of the bottom. This is a M&W live hydraulic kit pump, um, and then you can see the pressure line comes back to this, and this is a remote valve. Okay, you get your lever there. And then this is a bypass. Um, so that you can use one-way or two-way hydraulics on this tractor with this valve. And then you can see the suction line off the pump. See, it comes around and down and goes in the bottom of the belly pump. So what they've done is they've disabled the belly pump. And they're using the belly pump 
housing as a reservoir. You can see the return line out of the out of the valve also dumps in the side of the belly pump. But those obviously run back to a quick connect back there. Um, yeah, this was, I've got a couple of M&W catalogs I'll try to scan in here. But this is the M&W Extra Deluxe Live Hydraulic Kit. And came with this rod that runs up to the normal location for the belly pump rod. Um, this is like the best M&W hydraulic kit they sold for an M. Um, you can find them on H's also. Maybe some other tractors. But um, this is definitely uh, kind of the cat's meow of hydraulic stuff for an M. Alright, so this is an international in factory live hydraulic setup. You can see, so you got this big suction hose, goes back to the reservoir. Ignore all the extra stuff, but that's that, and you have an aluminum pump. That's the big tipper off, or tip of the hand here is an aluminum pump. Um, you can see that how the distributor goes on and stuff. And then on this one, you got this lever here, and you would pull this back, and that would put power or pressure to, I think, this port here, that one there, and a couple on the other side, which we'll get, I'll show you in just a second. These two ports here would also have pressure when that lever's pulled. 